Okay, hi everyone. Uh, for the last video, I'm uh, already to show you how to uh, configure internet failover with the MicroTouch. Okay, and uh, for today, I'm going to show you uh, how to configure MicroTouch load sharing to ISP and to LAN. Okay, and then we go to the uh, GNS3. I'm uh, going to show you how to configure. Okay, before I'm um, uh, show you how to configure, I'm um, I want to explain to you about the diagram. Okay, for in this diagram, um, I have two ISP. Okay, for the dual ISP. Okay, this is the ISP one. Okay, this is the ISP two. Okay, and this is the market router that we have to configure uh, load balance sharing, load sharing. Okay, for the LAN, uh, we have two network. Okay, for the LAN. Okay, this is the one network, uh, LAN 1. Okay, this is the one more network for the LAN 2. Okay, so we have the two LAN, uh, two network also. Okay. Okay, it, it, it is the information that we, we got from the ISP, okay, ISP 1, the public IP, gateway, and DNS. Okay, for the ISP 2, uh, public IP, uh, gateway, and DNS uh, also. Okay, and uh, in this video, um, I want to, uh, I want to uh, let the LAN order the LAN for the, this network. Uh, uh, the traffic uh, go to the ISP one. Okay, for the LAN two, the traffic from the this network go to the uh, ISP two. This is the uh, load balance sharing that we have to configure. Okay, for the LAN one, I have to order the traffic go to the uh, ISP one and. Okay, for the LAN 2, um, uh, I need to uh, order the traffic go to the ISP 2, okay? Okay, this is the step that we have to uh, configure, that we have to follow step by step, step 1, step 2, step 3, and step 4, step 5, and step 6. Okay, and then I'm going to the uh, LAN 1, I'm go to the uh, software ring box, uh, log into the multi router for the configure uh, Magnetic load sharing for the LAN 1 go to the uh, ISP 1 and for the LAN 2 go to the ISP 2 Okay, and then I'm go to the window HP client 1 for the uh, LAN 1 Okay, this is the uh, window HP 1 Okay Okay, for the LAN 1 Okay, window HP 3 for the LAN 2 Okay, and then I'm go to the window HP 1 and connect to the wind box Okay, and then I'm going to do the magnetic router by the wind box. Okay, this is the interface list. Okay, ISP1, ISP2, I'm um, changing already for the interface name. Okay, for the ISP1, ISP2, then 1, and then 2. Okay, okay, and then we follow our step. Okay, for the step 1, we, uh, we have to the IP address to the all interface in the marketing router okay I'm go to the uh, IPs address for add the IP address to the interface okay the first I'm at uh, IP LAN for the LAN 1 okay for the LAN 1 this IP so we follow our diagram Okay, this is IP internal IP for the LAN 1. Okay. Okay, and then I'm at for the LAN 2. Slash 24, LAN 2. Okay, this is the for the LAN 2 IP address. Okay, and then we add to uh, IP address, public IP for the ISP1 Ok, ISP1 Ok, this is the public IP from the ISP1 Ok, this is the public IP Ok, public IP Ok, this one Ok, and then we uh, I'm at uh, one more public Big IP for the ISP2. Okay, I'm going to add uh, 
Bismillah sudah before. Okay, assign to the ISP2. Okay, this is the IP address and this is the network ID and this is the interface that we assign the IP to the interface. Okay. Okay, for the step one, we already to configure. Okay, and then we go to step two and step three. And the body at an S and the HP server. Okay, and then I'm close this one. Okay, um, go to add the DNS server. Okay, DNS server. Okay, this is the DNS server for the C one. Okay. Sub. So, Okay, and then I'm going to go to add uh, the HCP server. Okay, HCP setup. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the LAN one. Okay, snake. Okay, snake. Snake. Okay, this is the IP rank that we have to assign to the uh, HCP clan. Okay, and then I'm change from the 2 to the 10. Okay, and then this one 50. Okay. Okay, and then I'm add one more for the land two. Okay, select land two. Next, next. Okay, this is the IP address rank that we uh, assigned to the DHCP clan. Okay, and I'm change to the can for the rank of the IP. Okay, this one for the fifteen. Okay, next, next. Okay, ACP server we create already for the step 3. Okay, and then we will go to the step 4 at the before run. Okay, I'm close this one. Okay, and then I'm go to the IP, IP route. Okay, and then I'm at route. Okay, this is a gateway for the ISP1. That we have to put the gateway K2. Okay, that you see, reach ISP1. Okay, then we add one more for the ISP2 gateway. Two. Okay. Okay, that you see, reach about ISP2. Okay, this is the uh, default route. Okay, for the ISP1 and ISP2. Okay. Okay, and then we go to the follow our step. Okay, next step for the step one. Okay, and the bond not. Okay, and as we are in the first ISV1 and ISV2. Okay, okay, and click this one. Okay, I'm go to the IP and IP firewall. Okay, okay, and for the nav, I'm click on the nav, click add. Okay, and then I'm go to the general. I'm select before so map. Okay, for the R interface, I'm select the ISP1. Okay, and action select max red for the access to the internet. Okay. Okay, this is the max red so map for the R interface ISP1. Okay, and then I add one more for the ISP2. Okay. Okay, action I'm um, select the mark you read also okay this is an enable net for the I'll interface ISP1 and ISP2 okay and then we go through the step search so, uh, we create the rule mark, mark uh, routing in the main goal and add uh, to the default run okay okay and then I'm close this one I'm go again to the IP Case at the firewall. Okay, and then I'm click on the mango. Okay, and add the mango. Okay, and then I go to the general. Okay, this is a free routing. Okay, the channel I'm select the free routing default and so after I'm click on the network for the land one. Tie the uh, network for the land one. Select the default. Okay, for the action. Okay, for the action you can click 
uh, you can choose the Mac routing, Mac routing, and the you Mac routing, you can put the name of the Mac routing. Uh, it's up to you. Example for me, I'm uh, uh, right or I'm tied already for the name. You can put uh, the name. Okay, example, land one to the uh, to uh, land two uh, land one to the ISP one. Example. Okay, you can put its name. Focus on your land connection and network land to the ISP one. Level two to, to the ISP two. Okay, and for me, I'm a create already. Okay, land to the ISP one and land two to the ISP two. Okay, I click this one. Okay, okay, and then I'm add one more for the land two. Okay, I need 